Hi everybody. So I know I'm wearing the same outfit as I was in my Jordana review, but it's I'm trying to get some videos recorded. It's late at night. I didn't have time to change outfits, and this is just going to be a really quick review. So I apologize that I'm not stylish in every one of them. Anyways, this is only a review of two products, and I... Sorry, text message again. I know people should quit texting me when I'm doing videos. Anyways, um, I'm going to be reviewing two Physicians Formula products. And unlike the other videos out there that the people got the products sent to them, I didn't. I actually watched those videos and liked the products that I saw, so I went and purchased some of my own. CVS was running a sale, like, buy one, get one half off Physicians Formula products. I don't know if that was, like, in conjunction with the little, like, review mass review thing or, like, if it was because of the contest going on right now um, or what. But... I'm going to review some products um, from the packaging to the product itself. Um, I have two products. I have the um, Physicians Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls. There's that. It's like a highlighter. Oops, if I can open it the right way. Like a highlighter mineralized pearly thingy. This is for all skin tones, by the way. They have all skin tones and then the light medium skin tones. And then drum roll, I'm reviewing the Shimmer Strips, Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Pop Eyes Collection in green. I know I don't have green eyes, I have like brown hazel eyes, but this is definitely the palette that I've heard everybody talk about, and this is definitely the palette that caught my attention in the store. So that's the one I purchased, because I just loved the colors. Let me see if I can open it up. Look at these colors. Gorgeous! Such Oh, man. Love them. Love them. Okay. So, I'm just going to start with the packaging on the powder palette. Okay. So, it comes in a little box. Let me get it put back together. Like this. And the only problem I noticed with the packaging, it's really, really pretty. looks really, really, like, shimmery, glowy, gray. I mean, the packaging is really pretty. It's got a pink color to it. But there's no way to get it out. I mean, the only way to get it out is to rip the box apart. That's the only way. There's no way to get it out, like, by gently opening it, keeping my box for reviews or anything like that. So I opened the product away. I was going to try to open them with y'all, but there was no way to test the product. I don't know how it worked without just ripping the box open. So that was definitely problem number one. Okay. So then you take the little, the little oh, heck, what is it called? Compact out. And it's got, like, a little pearl on the top. Can y'all see that? little cute pearl on the top. Actually, it's kind of annoying. It's hung on everything in my purse. But anyway, it's cute. And you open up the little plastic. It's got just a little plastic thing. And it's got the little pan. And it's got all these little raised bumps. I don't know. Can you tell? It's, like, shim it's shimmery. I promise. It doesn't look it, but it is shimmery. Um, and then you raise the little pan. And there's a little brush, which I'm not too fond of. I tried it out, but I much prefer my powder or blush brush. But I tried it out. I wanted to review it completely. And then there's a mirror. Say hi, camera. Anyways. And there's a mirror. And it just comes like that. Um, it reminds me, actually, the packaging reminds me of the Milani product I reviewed, the foundation. But, um... It even has little holes on the bottom. And this is in translucent pearl. This works great for all skin tones. I have a, like a medium skin tone, like a beigey with yellow undertones. I have warm skin tones. And this worked fine even with me. So I probably could have gone with the light medium tan one. But I have a bronzer and I didn't really want it. And I wanted to actually compare this to a MAC product. So I went with this color. As far as the product goes, I really like the product. I'm not a big fan of the bumps. Like, I'm really not sure why they couldn't just, like, leave it flat and just, like, give it a different name. I don't really like the bumps. Because when I'm putting my brush on it, the bumps actually, like, when you're putting your brush in it, kind of, like, flakes powder everywhere. And that's kind of gross. But other than that, the, the product itself is really soft, really smooth, and it's reflecting really bad. Sorry, y'all. And, um... I really like the product. It's shimmery. I use it as a highlighter, like, right here, um, like, on my forehead just a little bit and on my nose just a little bit to kind of highlight and bring some attention off of, like, my chubby cheeks and everything. So, anyways, like it pretty good. 
I bought it because I wanted to test it out in comparison with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. I know, they look nothing alike on camera. But if you saw them in person, they have the same kind of like pearly finish. And this is what I found. I found that I still like this product, my MAC product. Product. Cannot talk tonight. Sorry, guys. I really like my MAC product. It has a lot of pigmentation, and it goes on really smooth. No bumps, no nothing. It's just smooth. I love it. There's nothing I can say bad about this particular MAC product. This product is virtually the same. I'm going to take the little brush out. It's driving me crazy. This product is virtually the same, except for, I don't know, the consistency is a little off. There's something a little off about it. But this is like $13 versus, I dropped it, aha, uh -huh. anyway, versus like 38 or 28 or something like that. So there's a major price difference, but not really. I mean, if you're really into the MAC product, $15 is not a big price for pretty much the same size. They may even be the same size. Let's see. 10 grams, 8 grams. Okay, so you get a little more product with the MAC product as well. Um, what I've been doing to kind of save my MAC product as long as possible is I put a little bit of this underneath my MAC product so it doesn't take as much of this to get me that highlight thing. This is really shimmery. So if you like shimmery, this is going to be great. So overall, I would say probably like a thumb and a half up, like not quite two thumbs up, but not really just like one thumb up either. I like it okay. It's pretty good. So so I'm kind of impressed with it. I'm excited. If I was in a pinch, I could definitely use this instead of my Mac. I, I could use this. I like this a lot. Okay. So the shimmer strips. They come in these adorable little boxes. Let me just kind of stick it back in here so I can show y'all how cute this is. They come packaged so adorably. I mean, really. Like, who wouldn't be drawn to their colors and the shades and the packaging? Okay, it comes in a box like this with the eye, like, the way you can make green eyes pop on the side. Like, it gives three different ways. Because the idea is that you use the top three shades for one eye eye style. Use the middle three shades for another eye style and the bottom three shades for one eye style. Um, it's usually like a natural one, a playful one, and a dramatic one. So that's the idea. And they're supposed to make your eyes pop. Now like I said, I don't have green eyes. See how cute that is. And then the back gives a very in-depth color chart and it definitely tells you specifically how to do that. I love that it gives in-depth directions. So if you're not a makeup artist, you can totally figure this out on your own. Physician's Formula got this one right. It just opens up on the top like this. And like I said, I'm not green eyes, but I love bright, crazy colors. And so I went ahead and got this one because I heard a lot of people talking about this one more than any others. The other one that kind of caught my attention that I'll probably go back and purchase is the blue eyes one, just because I am a huge sucker for like gold and blues and things like that. And they've got some beautiful shades of gold and bronze in there. So it comes in this little plastic container just like this. It's, it's a hard plastic, so it's not going to break real easily, I don't think. I think it's a good little compact. There's no information on the back besides the name and the color. Like this says pop green eyes. So there's no information on how to put it on your eyes. All of that is on the back of the box. So if you want to know how to do it, you're probably going to have to save your box. I kind of wish that they had put like at least a little eye diagram on the back here. So that way I could throw away the box if I was one that liked using this. Now, I particularly use the eyeshadows however I want to. I don't really like following a diagram. But if you want the diagram, it should be on the back where you can see it. That way you don't have to keep your box for like every day. So you just open it up. Whoops. It has nine eyeshadow shades, like I said before. And the first three, it's like a duochrome that's got like a blue tint to it. I don't know if you can see the... Ooh, too close. It's got like a blue tint to it. But it's like a duochrome. It looks white, but it, it's got like a blue tint to it. And then it's got a lime green and a lilac purple. That would be your first color set. The next one is a light blue, a more of a teal color, and a dark purple. That would be your next color set. And for the dramatic eyes, there's a dark green, a medium purpley color, and then like a lime, um, yeah, like a lime green again. So there's not a whole, I mean, there's like a lot of the same colors, but it's just beautiful how they set it up. I mean, that's just so pretty. It comes with this little sponge tip applicator. And what's really cool about the sponge tip applicator is that it's angled. I've never seen one like that. And I love this. Actually, you can tell I've used it. There's even powder products on it. Mm. 
I've actually used this. This is actually really good for this product. I really like using this applicator um, versus my brush. Just because the little, the little shimmer strip things are so close together, there's no dividing, so it's very easy to mix two colors accidentally. And with the angle brush, you can just get in there and get the color you need. Ta-da! Anyways, love the little applicator. That that This is just really cool. Physicians Formula really did this one well. So there's not a lot I can say about this other than, like, the color payoff is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's fantastic. I mean, there's, like, better. That's the green. Um, that's the dark purple. And that's the teal. And that's just kind of, like, the main ones. I guess the ones that really stand out when you look at it, like, bam. Bam. You know, like, that's the ones you usually see when they pop out. So, anyways, um, the, sh the only thing that I don't like is that every single one of these colors have a shimmer, the shimmer strips. That's the idea, folks. But they all have a shimmer. So, I have to kind of combine these with some, like, matte looking products or satin products so that I don't have like an overload of shimmer on my eye. However, with that being said, these complement each other really, really well. So even though they're all shimmery, it's not over the top. It's just kind of over the top for me. I'm running out of breath talking too fast. <sighs> I told y'all guys it's been a long day. So I really, I mean, I don't really use them like, I don't use them how they're set up. I use like, um, I would use like this purple right here with this teal and this top lime green. That's how I would use that. Or I would use like this light purple and this light blue and the duochrome as my highlight. And I would use like the greens and the light purple together. I don't know. Like I'm just going to use it however I see fit that day. So I like that there are so many colors to choose from. Like whatever mood I'm in, I can pick out. But... If I use, like, let's say I use this purple a lot. Like, let's say I love that purple and I use it all the time. I'm going to run out of that particular purple really fast. And then I'm going to have all of these colors left minus my favorite shade of purple. So I kind of wish that Physicians Formula sold each color separately, too. They could have a whole shadow line with each color individually versus selling them, like, in a strip. This could be, like, a palette, and then you could buy the, the individual strips. I don't know. I like the packaging, I like the tools, I like the colors, and I like the pro color payoff. So I really like this product over overall. I think I paid like, I actually think I paid six fifty for this because this was thirteen and this was half off. So I got like six fifty or five fifty invested in this, and it was well worth that. So if your CVS runs a sale on these, would I repurchase them? Yes, I would probably repurchase the palette. I really like the colors. I really like the setup. I really like the style. And this is great for, like, traveling as well. Especially if you had, like, the blue eyes. The blue eyes is pretty much all neutrals. So you could do a smoky eye or a gold eye or anything like that um, with the blue palette versus, like, the green palette. It's going to be pretty wild and crazy no matter what. Um, so, yeah. I guess I would repurchase this again. Um, the one that I did not like was actually the one that was for my eye color, the brown eyes uh, collection. I didn't like the colors. To me, the brown eyes collection looked a little dull, and it felt kind of flat. To me, the brown eyes collection actually even had um, some colors that I thought were just really wrong. You know, like they just like there was a yellow in it, and I wasn't really fond of the yellow, and I didn't think the yellow would look very good on my, my skin tone or my eyes. The green and the blues and the purples and all this actually complement my brown eyes better than the brown eyes set did. So I'm glad with this purchase. And like I said, compatible, better, but compatible. I could use this again. So I would probably repurchase this again as well. That's all I have for my Physician's Formula. I've heard many great things on the Physician's Formula products, so I will probably purchase more products over the course of time. And I'll give reviews. If y'all like doing reviews, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night, as always. Bye, guys.